Aye, they're very difficult to follow up after amazing grace and then words from the family. The AP were just coming up a little bit. John Thomas McAleese was a Scottish soldier, took part in several late 20th century conflicts with the British Army Royal Engineers and the SAS, the Special Air Service Regiment. On 30th of April 1980, six gunmen seized the Iranian embassy in London, taking 21 hostages, two of whom they killed. The dramatic six-day siege ended when elite British SAS troops stormed the building and rescued the remaining 19 hostages. Five of the six gunmen were killed. John McAleese played a major role in this action by leading the blue team in the storming of the embassy. The dramatic assault was broadcast live on TV and turned the SAS overnight into national and international hero status. John was born in Stirling but was brought up in Lauriston, Falkirk and has a number of family members still living in the area. John sadly passed away in August 2011 at the age of 62. His eldest son, Sergeant Paul McAleese, was killed on active service in Afghanistan by roadside bomb while in patrol in Helmand Province. The Anchor Somme Association, a Scotland charity, strongly believes, as do many others, that John McAleese was a national hero and that his actions in 1980 in the storming of the Iranian embassy, rescuing 19 hostages, is deserving of recognition in his hometown. For some time, the Anchor Somme Association have been working towards this objective and today, Thursday, 26th of August, a special service has taken place in his hometown, when a magnificent bust of John will be unveiled to ensure that his vital role in the Iranian Embassy siege of 1980 will be remembered for posterity. We've always remembered those that made sacrifices so that we could enjoy the freedoms we have today. It's one of the things that makes Britain great, and we should be proud of our men and women that make up our military. During the 80s, terrorism would spread globally wherever it thought it could make an impact. But in leading blue team on the 5th of May and storming the Iranian embassy in London, John McAleese helped send a message to global terrorist organisations that the UK would neither tolerate nor negotiate with terrorists. The following decades would prove much safer on UK soil as a result of that single successful operation, Nimrod. It was also the first time that the SES had been seen publicly as what are now well-known images of black-clad, faceless Special Forces operators abseiling in through windows with machine guns. That image and that reputation which has struck fear into the hearts of our enemies are what inspired me to follow in the footsteps of those giants. And I'm proud to have served in the same regiment as John and tried to emulate that continuing and unrelenting pursuit of excellence. This memorial will stand proudly here as a tribute to John, his family, and all that the UK Special Forces stand for. Who dares wins?